my biggest idea of torture is a cocktail reception where everyone's standing up, where I don't think I'm going to know anyone, and just going up to them and saying, hi, I'm th- I just, it, even thinking about it makes me feel slightly sick. The word networking always sounds to me to be so cold and so harsh, and the idea that you're standing around talking to people to see what they can offer you, I find very difficult. But um, to be confident enough to go and talk to people and express your interest and express your desire and express something of what it is you're interested in is extremely important, and I can understand why it's difficult. Meeting people and, and finding out what they're interested in and how not just how they can help me in the work I do now, but how I can help them is a, is a really important part of, of what I do. So I make myself do the things I don't like because I know it'll make me better at the stuff that I'm trying to ultimately deliver. I meet as many people as I can because I'm interested in what they're doing and they want to know what I'm doing, but I don't think about it ever, ever, ever in terms of networking. It's a kind of word that has never crossed my lips. And I've never been interested in, in network, networking, it's such a horrible word, networking or socialising in that way. I like going out and having a really good time. And usually when I've gone out, I'm the last person that anyone wants to network with. You know, you're not going to get, you know, I'm just there for the fun of it. I'm not there to do business. It doesn't interest me on that level at all. I'm a great believer in, in not so much whether it's networking, but building relationships. So I could go to an event and be talking to one person the whole evening. I don't feel that I have to talk to, you know, 15 people. I feel that, you know, you build a connection, you, you know, it's, and it's also not about what you might get. It's also about how you can help other people. Being a, you know, senior woman in this very male dominated world can sometimes feel really lonely. Um, and, you know, I think it's incumbent on each of us to support one another um, and to really reach out and help one another um, and to find those allies and they may not always just be women but to find allies in an environment on a leadership team or um, in a business division that you know that you can communicate easily with and that you can work well with. I think it's certainly true that women in senior positions in business are really supportive of other women. Um, it's not, I'm, personally it hasn't been in a kind of tangible, okay I'm going to talk about your five year business plan, it's much more just a feeling of um, I'm pleased you're in this room and I'm going to make a point of talking to you if it, you know, if it happens to be that you're one of the few women in the room. If people ask me to meet and to discuss things and to talk through opportunities, I will make a point of trying to do that and being accessible. In terms of mentoring, I think it's the, it's the um, frequency really helps a lot. I think sometimes when you say we're going to have a session on mentoring, it's almost, you know, artificial from, because you set time aside for it. I think it's important to listen often and to give advice as much as you can. I think that the, the little bits of advice along the road are sometimes the ones that really make a difference. The real life changes for me have, have for the most part been women and I consider it an enormous responsibility to, to try and do the same for, um, for female friends and, and colleagues now myself. I think one of the reasons I feel that it's so important is about giving back to um, the next generation. Would I have felt more confident at an earlier age if I'd had those role models um, in my working life and in my life? And I think I would have, have um, felt more confident earlier. I always get as much out of it as I give. I find that, you know, it's, it's a two-way process mentoring, isn't it? It makes... It, I always find I've got a new idea or a new way of thinking about something or they've got some new idea of way of thinking about it and so we feed off each other and I think I, find I get a lot out of doing that. It's a tricky territory this business of should you support other women. I think it's every person's prerogative to get as far as they can with the talent they've got in the best possible way but I would say that all humans have got to look sideways and behind and bring with them and open doors for people who haven't had their good fortune yet but I I do think sometimes that women fear looking like they champion other women because they're called out on it. And I think if you have the experience as, as a woman of knowing that doors have closed in front of you or only been as much slightly ajar, then really out of a sense of humanity, you should support other women.